want to talk more about money. I talked about this before, but it just keeps coming up and it's critical. So money is actually neutral. You can take the same amount of money and start a strip club or a nonprofit. Money is fuel for your story and your passion and your purpose and whatever you're about. And so for us in business, we need to have a really good grasp of the money making model of our business, whether we're in HR or IT and R&D or sales or whatever role that we're in, we have to know the money making model of our particular company as well as the industry that we're in. Because the only way that we can have conversations and do good work about our value and our relevance is if we know how we fuel the organization. And so too often we get stuck in a trap of speaking the language of our department versus speaking the language of business. And then we have a hard time relating to leadership or understanding where we fit and we start to get really frustrated with each other in an organization. But when we speak a common language, which is the common language of business, then we can start to really get to innovation and get to a place where we're together going to serve our customers in our industry and not fighting amongst ourselves inside the business. Because sometimes I'll, I'll find that you know, HR speaks their own language, marketing speaks their own language, engineering speaks their own language, and then there's frustration. And instead, if we can all back up a step, understand the language of business, how we add value and relevance in the bigger picture, then we can use our specific areas of expertise in our individual departments to fuel the organization. But if we try to do that from our own little microcosm and not see it from the big picture and context, we're always gonna be frustrated with each other. So that's what's on my mind. That's what's been in the conversations with my clients. I work with high achieving women and we are always looking at mindset but also bottom line and business because if you want to have a rewarding life, you want your business to thrive and you want the rest of your life to thrive. They're not separate. This is not a life balance 50-50 thing. It's how can I wake up every day and feel great about me and my business. So there you go. Make it a great day.